So you might be trying to figure out how you can activate an eSIM on your Android phone. Now, doing this is actually fairly basic and it really doesn't take too much time, but it really depends on how you want to set it up. With a lot of Android phones out there, you already have the ability of usually setting up an eSIM automatically through your phone plan. So what you can try doing is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your settings application of your Android phone. You then want to go and get inside of your SIM card manager portion of your settings. So under connections right here, if I go and click here, you'll see I have an option for SIM manager. You want to find that option or the equivalent option inside of your phone. So every Android phone is going to be a little different, but you want to find the SIM card or SIM manager on your device. Now you can see right here we have a few options, but this phone also supports physical SIM. But if you want to activate an eSIM, you want to go ahead and click on the add eSIM portion of your specific you know, settings. So click on add eSIM and it's going to allow you to basically have two options of basically bringing over an eSIM. So for one, if you already have an, you know, plan from your eSIM carrier or from your SIM card carrier, you can do, you know, T-Mobile, Metro, AT&T, Verizon, and you can basically just sign into your T-Mobile account and you'll basically be able to figure out, you know, that method of getting your eSIM via your device. Now you can have the ability of basically scanning a QR code. So you, if you want to contact your cell provider, T-Mobile, AT&T, whoever it is, they will go ahead and send you a QR code like this. And you can actually just scan it within the application to activate your SIM card. So if you scan QR code, you'll basically want to scan now. I don't know what's going to happen if I scan this. But if you just scan this QR code, it'll actually go ahead and allow you to bring in that eSIM. These QR codes are going to be individually placed or you know, per account. So this one's not going to work for anybody. But that is an option you have. You can also turn on the flashlight. So that is one option. Now you can also just enter in the activation details. If you have an activation code, you can also input that eSIM activation code right here as well. Now I'm going to hop back out. If you want to transfer your SIM card from another device, you can also just click there. You can also just click OK. And here you'll basically be able to find your other SIM card carrier. Like let's say I wanted to transfer from you know this phone. I can go and click here. It will go ahead and allow me to basically you know, scan it and basically bring that SIM card from another device over to this one via my T-Mobile account. So you'll have the ability of signing in right there, and that's another option that you have. So that's basically how it's done. It's a super basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.